Hey everyone, Dave here. These are the Apple AirPod Pro 2s. And in this video, we're gonna check out the quality of the microphone, both as far as voice quality and noise cancellation, throw up against some background noises like barking dogs, and of course, our signature blender test to see how the microphone performs, and you can hear for yourself. We're gonna test them on iPhones as well as Windows computers and on a variety of apps like Zoom and the voice recorder as the voice quality and noise cancellation changes depending upon what you have it connected to. Now, before we get into the rest of this video, we are releasing a brand new noise canceling software called Neep, which uses AI to remove unwanted background noise. So even if you're using AirPods for your work phone calls or meetings, it will eliminate all of the background noise so you can have more effective phone call. And that's both on the speakers and the microphone, which is quite cool. Now this is AirPods with barking dogs in the background. This is how it sounds like. Now this is AirPods with Neep.com software. This is what it sounds like with barking dogs in the background. Learn more at Neep.com and you can enter your email to get a free month of premium. What's interesting about the Apple AirPods Pro 2 is that the noise canceling microphone that's built into them actually varies depending upon what you use the AirPods on. Have a listen for yourself. This is connected to a Windows computer on the voice recorder app with a blender line. Now this is connected to the iPhone using the Memos app. This is what it sounds like. All right, now this is a phone call with a voice isolation setting on the phone. This is what it sounds like. If you aren't familiar with the voice isolation setting on your iPhone, what you'll do is you'll get on an active phone call. This can be any phone call. And you will swipe down on the top right of the screen and you'll see a little microphone icon. You'll see standard mic and then you can click it and then you'll be able to do the voice isolation. When you select the voice isolation setting, this is what activates the noise suppression and will create the noise cancellation when you're on a phone call. Keep in mind that you do have to keep your phone firmware at the iOS 16 or greater level in order to have this feature available. What's interesting though, is that this voice isolation feature is only available on phone calls. When you go to use your voice memos app, it doesn't have this voice isolation. So that means you won't benefit from the noise cancellation of the software. And on top of that, you go to try to use your camera app using AirPods, it actually defaults to the built-in microphone on the iPhone. You can't use the AirPods mic or the noise cancellation feature, which I find to be a big bummer. Now, when pairing the AirPods Pro 2 up to a computer to use them for school or for work, the performance also varies between the apps that you're using. Pairing the AirPods to your Windows computer is super simple. With the earbuds in the case, you'll fold open the case. You'll press and hold the circular button on the back of the charging case for about three to five seconds until you see the white LED start flashing on the front of the case. Then you'll go to your computer's Bluetooth settings and select the AirPods from the list and then they're paired up. Have a listen to the noise cancellation performance when you compare against the voice recorder app and also a Zoom call. This is on the Windows computer with the voice recorder app and barking dogs going on in the background. Now this is on the Zoom video app on the computer. That's what it sounds like, there's barking dogs going on in the background. What did you think of the microphone performance? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Now, if you're using the AirPods on an iPhone and taking advantage of that noise isolation feature, as long as you have that iOS 16 or greater, or you're using it on an app like Zoom with the noise suppression technology, then it does quite a good job at blocking out the background noise. But in my opinion, the voice quality definitely is more condensed than compared to our built-in camera mic, which you can hear right now. So this is the difference. This is the camera mic right now. And then switching back to the AirPods, this is the voice quality of the AirPods. 
What did you think of the microphone performance in a quiet environment? For me personally, when using the AirPods, I find the sound quality to be compressed and tinny sounding. It's not a deep, rich sound like our camera microphone here. I always find it interesting when celebrities or popular people are on a show or TV show of some kind and they're using their AirPods. It just doesn't sound that great to me personally. Sure, it's good enough to get the, the job done, but it's just not the best sounding, especially when you compare that to like a podcast show and they're using podcast mics sound much better. But overall, the AirPods microphone, I think is good enough for basic phone calls. When it comes to using the Apple AirPods Pro 2 on a Windows computer, the noise cancellation is just quite limited and doesn't work that great, especially if you don't have an application that has good noise suppression built into it, you're just gonna be lacking on that front. If you're looking for some alternative options that are gonna give you better noise cancellation across all the apps that you use, and also still provide good voice quality, here's some alternatives. The Yealink BH71 is a good option to consider. It's a Bluetooth wireless earpiece that's worn over the ear. It's extremely small and lightweight, good for comfort for all day. It has a noise canceling microphone boom, which is gonna give you a bit better performance and it will connect up to your computers and smartphones. And it's optimized to work on the leading apps like Microsoft Teams and Zoom, so you can step away from your desk and still be able to answer your calls from your headset. Now, if you want something that's gonna give you the best performance, there's the Made in France Oro Sound Tilt Pro. This headset's worn over the head and fully encloses your ears, which has active noise cancellation technology. So not only is it gonna block out the noise in your environment so you can focus on your work, but it also has an amazing noise canceling microphone boom to block out the noise so the callers on the other end of a phone call don't hear all the background noise so you can have more effective phone calls. Now, if you want a wired US USB option that's easy, plug and play, that'll work on computers and laptops. There's the Discover D713U, which is a small, lightweight earpiece style headset. It's actually very unique in the marketplace as there's not really any other alternative options available right now. It's extremely lightweight, comfortable for all day use, but it does have that noise canceling microphone boom that's going to cancel out background noise as well as have good voice quality. If you're not sure what headsets are best for your situation, maybe what will work with your phones or phone system or your environment, that's what our team at Headset Advisor does every day. So give our team a call, chat, or email us and we will provide you with a free custom tailored recommendation. That's all I got for you on this video. If you wanna learn more about that Neep noise canceling software that I talked about earlier, you can check out this video we did. We tested against all sorts of noises so you can hear for yourself the performance. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you on the next one.